as the title suggests, I'm uh, building my aerobic base through running. Uh, pretty new to running, done it on and off in the past, but this year I intend to take it a lot more seriously. You might be able to give me some tips, see what I'm doing wrong. Today I'm on an hour's run out and back. Morning. Hello. Nice and slow. Uh, I'm just over two kilometres in now, and uh, run about seven-minute kilometre pace. I've been running since the second of January started with two times a week and then I've now upped it to three times a week all slow and trying to build it up slowly after six weeks I intend to add in some uh, different training methods fartleks uh, or interval runs uh, and tempos a little bit more about me and my journey then my name's Matt I'm 37 years old uh, at my heaviest weight I was 16 and a half stone I did manage to get it down a few years ago but it's been creeping up again just after Christmas I hit 15 just though what was I 96 kilos just like 96 and a half kilos which I think is around 15 stone so I decided I need to do something about this need to be consistent I'm getting older now so this year I started off at 96.5 let's say and four weeks in I'm down to 92.3 I think is what I weighed in yesterday so I've definitely made some progress already but it's not all about weight loss, no. Uh, my body fat percentage is actually quite high, like 37. I was actually at like 39% at the beginning of January. That's come down to 37.2% as of yesterday's weighing. And uh, that's the main thing I'd like to get down get into a more healthy region of body fat and obviously with these long runs that will come down naturally over time so yeah that's my goal this is just get healthier like be consistent with it and keep it up I haven't got a specific weight that I want to hit now we've got a specific fat percentage that I want to hit. I just want it to be in a more healthy region. Ah, so I'm almost halfway in. Just hit 28 minutes. I think that was kilometer four. I told you I've been doing the slower running to build my aerobic base. How do I know I'm staying in that right area of training? Well, I've been watching a lot of YouTube and uh, so I've implemented a few different things. One is I've got a heart rate monitor. So using the Mathetone method, 
I'm minus my age off of 180 and I keep it around that number it does go over a little bit I don't worry too much as long as I don't stay up there I'll just slow up slow down even and bring it back down into the correct range having a conversation talking to you right now <laughs> making sure you can have a conversation while you're running shows that you're uh, in a lower heart rate zone you're not using so much oxygen for your muscles and your body to carry out its running that you can have a conversation so morning <laughs> this is weird I'm holding a camera and people are staring at me get over yourself Matt another reason why I've kind of started this is all the running channels I see on YouTube they tend to be people that have been running for a long time they give me good tips good information but oh I think I should be turning around now <laughs> I'm gonna be running for too long uh, yeah I want to be seeing people that are building up from scratch people that are on the beginning of their running journey see where they've started and then follow them along and see where they get to I mean I haven't set myself massive goals yet because I don't want to defeat myself too early on I do want to run a park run I've never done 5k park run I've done plenty of 5k runs so I want to go along to one of them my closest one's in Bedford and uh, yeah have a bash see what the community's like because I've been told it's very friendly uh, so I mentioned that when I started obviously I've been running slow for the past four weeks after six weeks I'll be implementing different training types to hopefully build the strength in my legs to speed up a little bit but when I started I started with short runs none of them based on mileage or kilometers it was all based on time so I started with a 20 minute run I built it up in two or three minute increments so the first week I ran 20 minutes and then 23 minutes the second week I did 25 minutes and 27 minutes and then the third week I upped it to three runs a week I went 30 minutes 32 and then 35 minutes and this week I've done done 42 minutes 46 minutes and today I'm pushing myself a little bit more and going for an hour uh, try to follow that 10% rule each week so to keep the in injury risk low uh, last week I did 16 miles 16 kilometers this week so with the 10% should be around 18 I should be able to do but I think today it's gonna to be more like 20 22 looks like I'm going over my hour run go forever at the minute yeah I've just got eight kilometers 56 minutes I'm still around the seven minute just over seven minute kilometers okay so I was gonna finish my run but 
five minutes to go and I've run 9k averaging seven minute kilometers five minutes to go I'm already over the hour anyway so a couple of extra minutes might as well get that 10k in right <laughs> If you've enjoyed watching this video or you're just intrigued to see how I end up doing, whether I succeed or I fail, tune in for the next run. Next couple of weeks, two weeks, still going to be completely base building and then after that we'll get spicy, add in some interval training or fart leg training. Uh, and some tempo runs if I understand by then what a tempo run is we'll get there see you on the next run bye